Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 17 Team of the Season player review on my channel. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 90 rated Team of the Season Charisma. So if you do want me to review any other Team of the Season players, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. And if you do enjoy this video and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. So if you do want to go and try this card out for yourself, his price range on PlayStation 4 is 21,000 to 190,000. And then on the Xbox, it's slightly cheaper at 21,000 to 160,000 coins. So getting into some of his in-game stats now, as you can see, he has a few 99 in-game stats such as his dribbling and long shots. He has a load of specialities such as flare, long shot taker, outside the foot, and he also has some specialities such as speedster and dribbler. So getting into his pros now, his first pro is his long shots. This guy has some insane long shots, as you'll see in the next clip. Um, one of the best long shot takers on the game, you know, the power and curve combined just makes him a perfect long shot taker. The next pro I could find with this card was his agility, and just like long shots, this guy has some insane agility, one of the most agile players I've used this FIFA. You know, I've never found a player this year with such good agility, he just changes direction so quickly, and once he's no stopping him. But the only one con about having really high agility, I actually found it pretty hard to skill with him. Because if you don't know already, skilling is all about timing. And he just did, you know, skill moves and movements quicker than any other player I've seen this FIFA. So it's pretty hard to get used to the timing. Um, and then his final pro I could find was his free kicks. So as you'll see later on in the video, there's about three or four free kicks in a row. What are just amazing. His curve, his power, both of them combined make him a perfect free kick taker. So yeah, I definitely recommend you go and pick up this card. So the only cons I could find with this card was he is pretty inconsistent. One match he would score two or three goals, then he would go you know one or two matches with the, without scoring a goal. Um, just you know a very inconsistent player, and I think the main reason was just because I was playing in divisions, so you know there's quite a, a, a wide range of you know abilities of FIFA. So uh, basically the next pro, um, sorry the next con I could find with him was his injury pro. Now this was probably the biggest con with this card. In about 14 matches I played with him, he must have got injured about 5 or 6 times. And you know, injury cards this FIFA are very expensive, so that's one thing to look out for with this card. And now these are the free kicks I was talking about earlier on in this video. So anyway guys, this has been the review. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it if you could also share this video on social medias. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Bye!